Howdy! This is a quick hit video on putting text in your drawing. So the first step that we're going to do is talk about the text command which is found under the home tool. Um, there's also an annotate aspect to it also, but under the home ribbon, under text, we've got two text tools. We've got single line text and we've got multi-line text. The single line text is old school, started in the, uh, from the very beginning of AutoCAD running through about the mid-1990s, and then they brought on multi-line text, which is much closer to a word processor. We're going to show you how to use the multi-line text tool on a drawing or model environment. When you pick the multi-line text, which is the default, by the way, you're going to create a window. And you'll notice that the down arrow shows you the way that the text is going to flow on the screen and on your drawing. So we're going to create a window for the text. The window does not indicate how large the text height is. This is just the space that the text will fit into. This in, in essence provides you the margins for your text. You now get a, a ruler, you get a flashing icon for um, text, and up on the very top row you get a lot of options. Um, we're going to be using standard text and in using the text style command you can go in and edit font in the way that the the text will behave for that particular style. Um, the second area here, point two zero, is the text height. So if we want to change the text height, you can do that right here. You can make it any size. We can also change the font here on the fly. So you don't have to use the uh, older text style settings. You can actually change the text information on the fly. Justification, how the text is going to flow inside that box that you selected. If you've got bullets and numbering, or if you want to change line spacing, uh, you can do that too. And then, of course, you've got your justification capabilities of left or right, center, middle. If you want to do columns, if you've got uh, column-based listings that you need to put into your drawing, or if you've got a lot of notes and you wanted to make them multiple columns, you can do that. Symbols. Default symbols are located here, um, and there's the general list there of all different types of symbols, electronic, some basic mathematic. Fields are inherent items that you can build into your um, drawing, so it'll automatically pull the latest date, or it'll pull the current sheet set information. Again. This is these are default items that that automatically will pull information out of the drawing, last save time, things like that, uh, the date that it was saved. That kind of information can be stored and automatically updated in what is known as a field, um, and you'll see that in a couple minutes when we get to our template. We can also edit our dictionaries, and they do have a spell checker built in which you can spell check and then uh, find a replace text if you've got a lot of text on the screen. You can turn the ruler on and off, undo redo options, and then close the text editor. So we're going to go ahead and type in um, okay and you're like oh that's just not big enough for what I need and it's .20 and so I'll kick it up to a half inch so notice what I did is I highlighted the text, went up here to change the height, hit the enter key, and now the text is a half inch high. Uh-oh, I clicked out of the text. What happened? I just ended the text command. That's okay. If you double click on the text, double left mouse click, it'll automatically edit the text, bring you back into the uh, operation environment. The other thing that I wanted to show you was the ability to edit title block text. Now I brought in our title block template that we're using for our class and you can notice that we've got the class name or class number. You're going to be editing your name and the drawing name but you'll notice that the date is in gray and that means that it automatically brought it in. Remember the definition, excuse me, the, uh, the field is brought in automatically. So things that you're going to have to edit are the scale, your name, the drawing name, if it's multiple sheets that you're creating. And this template that you're going to use has both an A size and B size title block associated with it. Won't necessarily print that way. You have to choose your printer and print it that way or print off to a PDF file, which is also appropriate. 
And in the other videos I talk about the dash lines, which is your plotting area. You've got a viewport that's built inside here. Don't worry too much about the revision field. It's just a standard field that we use in our drawing environment uh, to, get, to get you familiar with that uh, operating uh, stru structure. Okay, so if you're going to edit the title block, you double click on the text field and you can edit the drawing name, you can edit your name, you can magnify and edit the scale. The drawing date should automatically come in. The drawing number could be the page number or the project number that you're using and then whatever the sheet is. And that pretty much wraps up the quick hit on putting text in your drawing. Have a great day.